You're still watching, Way, so we'll just go straight into what we found in the news, and I'm going to come to you, Sanzi. Okay, well, there's a lot uh, of interesting things um, in the headline. I think the major headline all over the papers, uh, starting with Punch, was uh, Nigeria out of recession by 0.11%. Was it 0 or 1.1? .1? No, it's 0 0.11 during the last quarter. Yeah, but then if you analyze the whole year, I think the growth was like one point. Well, I can't yeah. remember the exact figures. Mm. But um, I think it's too early to celebrate because it's like, you know, when you're out of the water, it's not even, I think you said nose up. I'm like, no, yeah, your nose is not even out. We just you saw just, your crown. We just saw in the crown. Okay. Yeah, so it's too <laughs> early to celebrate. We, this is when the real work even begins. Mm. But I mean, we are grateful for a bit of good news. But that's not my story. Um, so uh, recently there was a premiere of Fine Wine uh, directed by Baba about Tokwe Shei, and uh, RMD was of course the lead cast, a story about um, a lonely uh, older man who falls in love with a young lady and he has to fight for her attention with um, some other younger guy. But then during the premiere, there was an interview, and this is why I picked the story, because you know they were at, he was asked about his age, and he was like, I'm aging gracefully, and I'm balding, I'm, I've accepted it, I'm 60 years old, I take good care of my body getting older should be something we celebrate and i wanted to highlight that because you see a lot of people being ashamed of their age a lot of people say you know what oh i'm balding uh, well for the guys and it's never a good thing when a woman is balding so if you're a woman we should cry and find solution but when you're a guy i mean if you can't find a solution to it embrace it you're aging you're balding i don't see why people get upset because you're aging do you want to die no do you want to age no what do you want <laughs> <laughs> you know but so i think that's um, something we should definitely encourage more people to yeah like, and, and, and i think celebrate your don't just celebrate birthdays and say oh i'm grateful for a new year like for real be grateful that you're getting older. that old age is an advantage is a mm, good thing it's a good thing i i actually think that i i um i i must commend uh, rmd because you know truthfully he's been embracing all his you know the aging um features he's rocking it. yes he's rocking it and he's, he's he's just taking it so nicely and i i want to say that this is the pressure that i, I feel a lot of people have today you know mm -hmm. that this this is what make a lot of people go into surgeries you right. know prematurely and all of that because people are afraid of wrinkles i mean there are some things that when you just get to a certain age it comes to the territory so instead of you, you trying to fight it, it I'm sure by the time you embrace it and love the process, you would look as good as RMD. That's the truth. Yeah. Because that, that beauty Sorry. that you're looking for comes from within. Yes, madam. Uzi. Madam, that will turn like, 40. Like, is it like, no, sorry, hold on. <laughs> am, am I the only one who today, I, I, like, you all seem to be on the other side of this fight for me. Hello, the man is aging like fine wine. He should go meet his counterparts outside who look like 20 years older than him at the same age who have had a more stressful life. And let's see whether they're embracing it so nicely. I Hello, have the man has looked the same way since I was in secondary school. No, no he thinks good he care of his Hold on, it. Oa. Can, Oa. So I, have, I have a woman from my father's side. Oh, She's actually a relative. This woman no, is 92 years old. Wait, they can't hear Not both of you. Everybody does. Uti, sorry, come again. What did you say? I said he's aging well. He's aging like fine wine. He's aging the way most men would hope to age. Does not make it typical. So... Here's but is it possible that he's yeah, doing all the right things? Every Listen, we embrace every new year. We Uti, Uti, older, Uti, is it possible? Uti, you're not listening. Is it possible that he's doing all the right things? Because let me tell you something about the skin. You know, this is my territory. There are so many n right things you would do right now that when you get to that age, you will look as good as him. Why? Because you've done all the right things. Most people do not as simple as water. As simple as water. Some people don't even take water. People can barely also, afford to have one meal a day. You're talking about doing the right things. He is a celebrity. Let's be clear about that. Okay, sorry. I, do I not, know in Nigeria, I do not, celebrity I do means not different think, things. I do not but he think is it's a about. Mm -mm, mm -mm. The I guy who has been watching, sitting out in the sun every day, who's a bus conductor. No. Or, I mean, there's so many different people. So I'm not saying okay, I get that your he point hasn't now. done the right things. Yeah. I'm simply saying that let's also acknowledge that that's not everybody's reality and okay. a larger percentage okay, of Okay, I get you now. I get you. No, there are some people who are celebrities as well, but they're not aging as nicely. I think Gene has a role to play in it. And the fact that some when you embrace who you are, it's easier for you to like show off a better uh, version of you to the world. 
He's like, he's aging, he's balding. And like, some men will hold on to that hairline. I'm like, let's go of the hairline. I mean, imagine if, yeah, imagine if he was struggling to like, you know, let's fix it, let's fix it. I get that it, it, can, it, can, it, some, it can come with some insecurities, but there are things that when it starts happening, just embrace, embrace it. This it. is life. Okay, let's so I get, I get both angles, I get both but that's our topic. Hey, today, <laughs> that today. Okay, oh. Uti, what's your story? <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, so I, I'm very quickly just going to go into my headline. Um, you know how we all feel about um, Lamidus and Lucy on this show. He always says the things that people sometimes are too afraid to say. Um, and the headline says, Sanusi seeks strict family planning laws, says Nigeria struggling to cope with population. Now, this, the, the headline pretty much says it all about the story. He's basically saying that, look, it'll be irresponsible for people to have 20, 30 children that they can't educate. And we keep expecting that the government is going to do something. They're going to be able to put more money into education, into awareness, into, into um, healthcare. So he's really just, just espousing the fact that, look, Nigeria, we have a problem. Whether you agree that our population is 200 million or you think that um, you're from the school of thought that says it's a lot less than that, we're at least 120 million by all, um, by all counts. So whether or not um, we can't essentially keep growing at the pace that we're growing, people can't keep popping out children mm. that they can't fend for. They can't feed. Out. <laughs> um, I know that it's possible. It's easy to look at this and say, well, this can easily be a northern problem. Um, but I mean, the whole of Nigeria shares this population and this geographical space that we're all in. Mm -hmm. We're all struggling with the same resources, with the same government. Mm. So he's basically calling um, for stricter rules on family planning and ensuring that people are having... Uh, essentially having the number of children that they can take care of. Absolutely, because we talked about population. We're still going to talk about population. Mm -hmm. And they say by 2030, Nigeria will be the third largest, um, uh, th third most populated country in the populated, world. Populous country. Yes, yeah. in the world. So, I mean, this is it is only right for us to start checking it now. We can't wait till then before we say we want to solve the problem. We can yeah, start by like simple that. family plans. Like, um, he had to come out and say, like, what, just like what He's said, always what, talking. Yeah, he makes a lot of sense. And I keep telling people, well, not too many people, but I'm like, if he had asked for my, for my hand in my previous mar previous life, <laughs> I would have married him. <laughs> I, love, I love his brain. I love how he thinks. And, um, I mean, this is something that has worked for China. And I'm not saying bring it down to one. But, for instance, we know yeah. in some parts of the northern states and even some parts of the southeast, there are people who give birth to as much as 19. What southeast? Delta. No, southeast. For instance, my, my grandmother, not my grandmother, one of our in-laws, the, the, his, his, his grandmother, said she was going to harvest all the eggs in her ovaries. So she had about 20 <laughs> Oh my God! No, but, but if, if a friend children. of mine, sorry, or a classmate of mine, while I was in university, the father actually had twenty-four of them. But you know the funny thing about those twenty-four one children? Woman. He would no, not one, not one. But this he would one woman. Ah, no, that one she tried. This is twenty-four children. I think about four wives or three wives. But guess what? They only train about three. They will just train about three from the from the this and the, the others go and fend for yourself. Why? Eh? You All these Nigerian so data men. On the few that have been trained. Then you have these older siblings not only carrying the, the pressure of their life, yes. they're carrying the pressure, pressure of, the of their younger family. siblings. Yeah. All right, so my story is actually linked to um, Lekki Tolgate. It's just an interesting read. I thought to talk about it because we don't have time again, so I won't really deal so much in it. But if you can find time to look for this uh, article written by Inna Nabi, Ochem Reyonme. Ochero Me. Ochero You know, so he was just giving some um, reasons why he feels that the Lekki Toll should be abolished, you know. And he said something, which I'll just read out quickly, that there are five major... Um, out roads out of Lagos, you know, the Leke Aja Expressway, the um, Ibadan, Ikorodu, Seme, Agbara, Abiokuta Way. But you see, um, other than the, the Leke Aja Expressway, all other roads were, were constructed by the federal government. And he was asking that if the federal government had tasked. Uh, taxed those roads heavily. Would people even come into Lagos? That Lagos State Government is using our taxpayers' money to build this Lekki Ajay Expressway and they're tolling the, the road. So he feels like it's on toll hardship that he's, they're putting on the people living on this side of the road. When, and if you when, remember... When, when will Nigerians accept the truth? When, when will we start to go beyond this mentality where we are somewhat entitled yeah. I mean, on the flip side, I read the story, I think it was a couple of days ago, uh, the MD 
of um, LCC yeah. who was talking about the amount of money that the company currently owes to foreign investment, um, foreign development banks. They owe to local banks here in Nigeria. This is a company, they're doing business. They went into a PPP, um, from what I can remember. They built this road. They're running a service on this road. Now, we must be able to equate value for money. I keep saying to people that on this road, at least on that stretch from the, the, the Lekki toll to the Chevron toll, and even beyond, actually, there are services that this company is providing. If your car breaks down, they're there. They hey, get so, Uti, the the we don't have a problem. In we don't have a problem with that. What we are saying is, you know, the truth is, if not for some people that protested, remember, this particular Lekki Ekpe Expressway, the original plan was to have about five tolls. Come on, it's too much. Do you understand? Yeah, but again, again, guys, look, let's not... You see, what we just say is too much. It's too much based on what? Mm. It's now, is based there on a the service fee. to be provided? Is there the fact that... Look, I mean, compare this Lekki, ex, Lekki toll. Compare this road, this stretch of road, to majority of the roads in Lagos State. How quickly it gets fixed? How things get replaced? When there is an accident? Compare this stretch of road, which is one way in, one way out. Compare it to an Ikorodu road, for example. We must begin to equate value. We can't just say, you know what, I don't get it, so it doesn't make sense. Okay. Um, that's not okay. Question. We can't just say that because this one road is the oddity. There are a lot of things that happen on this road that is an oddity. There are a lot of accidents that happen on this road that when they happen, should they have happened on any other road in Lagos State, you probably spend six hours on the road. Okay, it Uti. Gets you moving. Uti. So again, I, I mean, I'm not Uti. saying that there's no value to what he has said. I'm simply saying that we need to start to look at both sides of the coin and we need to be able to equate value. We can't just say, I mean, oh, it's a lie, it's a thief, it's a something. And then all of a sudden... Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's okay. I, no, Sanzi, it's okay. You know what? We're <laughs> going to bring this topic next week, Tuesday, because what's the role of LASMA in terms of controlling traffic that you're talking about? All this uh, tolling of if cars break down, what is the job of LASMA? All those regulations. But we, we don't, that's not our topic. Today, not today. Oh. Hey, Uti, we'll take a break. When we return, we're talking about words. Our leaders and their words. Stay with us. We'll be right back.